Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Fortmaster, and welcome back to Wasteland 3. So, last episode, we arrived at the bazaar, um, a lot of clown killing, because apparently there's like this gang of raider clowns in their basement, uh, <laughs> uh, and we had to clear them out, um, but I wanted to see, uh, we came up here to buy more medical supplies because we were running kind of low, uh, and also because I wanted to talk to Flab and see if if telling him this yes. could happening? Have you found out what his haunting are warrants? Alas, I held out an inkling of hope that we'd find some of our missing people alive down there. You bring sad tidings, but thank you for letting us know. We'll inform their families. A bunch of uh, thugs dressed as clowns. Clowns! No, no, it's impossible. They, they would not come all this way. They can't. What are you talking about? They are one of the wild gangs that escaped the Patriarch's control. I've not had to deal with them in decades. But last I did, they raided one of our caravans. Didn't even take most of the supplies. They seem to think it was just a funny joke to kill our men. If it is Los Playasos down there, we truly need your help. They would not hesitate to kill every living thing in my home in the most unspeakable ways. We won't be safe until every last payaso is dead. The bizarre. Okay, let's go over there then. Okay, it seems this is the last place. Okay, um... Limerick notes. We're pulling the punchline were the punchline to every joke. Striking first gives a strong tactical advantage. Ah! Oh, wait a minute. No, I can't think of it. Ah! 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, let's loot this place then. Did's go 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 save key. Picture of a clown. Don't Did's go's letter lore book. Uzi. Another Bren. Storage unit 107. Decoy, clown horn. Oh, for the vehicle. Rib cracker. Esteemed guests, we still need your help to cleanse the warrants of our payaso pests. This news lightens the heart. You've done us all a great service. All our stores are open to you at a discount. And here, take this as a token of my thanks. The Bazaar will be waiting. Thank you for your help. The Monster Army has been around for a while. Huh? Flaps always from going on safe, about the Flaps. olden days. Thank you for your help. Nice. Okay. Oh wait, we can. Uh, we have another one of those coins. Okay, let's uh, move on to this uh, smuggling operation, shall we? Oh wait a second, this guy. Right, we have the ramen. Noodles. That weird guy in the Hello again, my friends. Hey, here's your instant ramen noodles. Yes, yes, my friends, you don't know what this means to me. You have altered the course of human gastronomical history. Here, a small measure of my gratitude. Ah, and of course, as we discussed, I'll be happy to join you at your HQ now. Let me pack up my supplies and I'll see you there. Yeah, we got a, we got somebody for the cafeteria. See you at Ranger HQ. Breaker 1-9, this here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? I mean, I assume. Uh, re -re uh, we read you? Uh, who are you? Ha! Ain't you nosy. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Hello? Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. What you wait, I thought you were captured by one of the kids. Angela Death? Ha! Huh. Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. <sighs> I'll bet. <laughs> we came out here for the same reason as you, because command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. I'm sorry, but he's the only pr thing we got right now. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. Exactly. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Uh, where are you? Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Why are you telling us this? Why do you think? We want you on our side. But not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. 
There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. Mm-hmm. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As warlord? Him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Well, okay then. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Let's see. Uh, anyway, where were we going before? Um, oh yeah, we were going to go to that garage. Monster Army Bunker, yeah. New copper! That's its thing on its back! It's a nuclear warhead! Hello, Rangers? This is Ananda Robindranath. You left in quite the hurry and forgot to speak to me. But I will forgive you this lack of courtesy. As we discussed, now that the bazaar is at peace, I am free to join your esteemed organization. I shall head to your headquarters anon. Oh, okay. I forgot about him. This message is from the North American Air Defense Command. This is an attack warning. Repeat, this is an attack warning. A nuclear attack is now underway. Proceed to the nearest civil defense shelter immediately. This is not a drill. Stay tuned to this frequency for additional updates and instructions. This message will repeat. Okay. It's a bit late there, dude. Hmm, where do we go? Hmm, full house, unwelcome guest. Uh, here. Smugglers are hiding in an old parking garage. I suggest we follow the road heading north. From the, the bazaar's entrance. Yo! This is for Dwayne and Monty and the rest of you chicken shits. You didn't think we could get inside that old army bunker. Well, guess where we are, motherfuckers? Bunker Buster's roof! <laughs> Give me another fucking forest, dude. The place is a shithole. Nothing but dust and rat turds. Just one door left for trying to get open. Get the fucking door open, pussy. Use a damn crowbar. What the fuck? A fucking robot. What the fuck's it doing down here? See if it wants some fucking wars. Oh shit. Yeah, of course. I just realized we didn't. There's like a whole section of the map we didn't look through. <laughs> probably on in the bazaar, so we probably should uh, do that. So yeah, we didn't head here. Where the hell do you think you're going? This area is off limits to anyone not part of our organization, and you definitely don't look like anyone I know. I strongly suggest you egress to a rosier neighborhood. You copy? Uh, we're investigating reports of human smuggling operation in the area. Fine. The name's Stenerud. In case the Patriarch hasn't noticed, there's hundreds of refugees who are desperate to get into his city. So desperate, they'll pay me everything they have. Now, I've got no particular quarrel with you, but I'm not stopping, and I'm not negotiating. So if you come any closer... This is a firefight. Stenner right out. Hmm. Um, oh, the smugglers hold their activities or even talk with us. Looks like we'll have to fight them. Okay. <laughs> Charge!
Come on, Dari, finish them off. Who are you? Did Mama Cotter send you? We're the Rangers. We were sent to negotiate with the smugglers, but they attacked us. Those smugglers were bastards. They took everything we had because they knew we were desperate. Mama Cotter set everything up. She arranged for the smugglers to pick us up here and sneak us into the city. She was going to meet us at the gate and find us beds and food. We're refugees, every one of us, driven off our land by the Plains gangs. Now we're stuck here with no food, but we'll probably freeze before we starve. We need transport to Colorado Springs over dead. Uh, can you go somewhere else? How? We have no money, no food, no vehicles. We need to find someone who can carry all of us to the city, and soon. We're not going to last out here. I've heard that merchant caravans stop at the bazaar. Maybe one of them could help us. But the monster army won't let us into the bazaar, and we don't have any money to pay for transport. We'll see if you can find someone in the bazaar who can help you. You're the only hope we have. If we're stuck here much longer, I doubt we'll survive. We'll wait here and try to keep warm. Ah, <sighs> okay. Uh, to the bazaar, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can find somebody who can help us smuggle these guys. Thank you for your help. Fill her up, barkeep. As I live and eat cherry pie, more of my fellow humans in the bazaar. You make yourself welcome now, you hear? Scratch it behind the mask, plastic ear. Uh, Fellow humans? Well, gosh, and apple pies. You put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar, just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Wasn't something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all. There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar and they know me. And why are you pretending you're not a synth? Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle. Just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. Technicola dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Synths don't do that. We still think you're a synth. I'm not a synth. Why, just last night I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and rash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. High school hasn't been a thing for a century. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Oh, you kids and your humor. 
If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, wouldn't they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> All right, fine. I am a synth. But you can't tell anyone. But everyone in the bazaar already knows. Do they? I'm not sure I believe that. If they knew, wouldn't they have melted me down to scrap by now? People don't like sense, as far as I've seen. You're clever ones, and bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. So soon? I said best of luck to you. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Are you rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left. Uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any rangers in a while. Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of, uh... Coolness! Are you Would another you like synth? Sure, give us a tour. Uh, okay, this way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Welcome to Quarex's Quabinet of Quariosities, a collection of the rarest of the... Well, it's toys and games mostly, and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., a fellow game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. In the end, though, a boss got him, and, and, well, he didn't make it. I keep his hat around to remind me to be honest and decent like he was. This was the best video game ever! Wasteland 4! You can choose what color you want the screen to be, red or green. This is the most sought-after gaming accessory ever made! The legendary Mighty Mitt! I love the Mighty Mitt! It's so bad! <laughs> this is a genuine megascope. The most advanced optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. Shame somebody stuck it on that silly old ray gun, but I'm not gonna try to take it off. I might break it. This throne was once the most coveted object in the wasteland. The rule was whoever sat on it was the king. King of what exactly? I don't know. I also don't know who made that rule. This is a slicer dicer, the scariest robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even makes julian fries. Whatever those are, if this thing was working, we'd all be dead by now. These are the most classic of classic arcade games. One hour later. Apparently, the guy who you're supposed to talk to to get this, uh, get the smuggle the people in, um, you're supposed is the guy we uh, hired for our kitchen. I'll be back. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it. And now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November, I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. An altercation? Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gratsky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well. This isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gratsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. 
More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments, but today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. But fortunately, the problem's not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. This wasn't the first accident? There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but... There's more than a few who ain't calling us names as they walk past or telling us we're on borrowed time here in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Yeah? Well we gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be f Shoot. Uh, when we made the deal, we'll stick to it. You can stay where you are. Rangers who have a problem will have to be disciplined. Um, we won't go back on our deal, but adjustments have to be made before someone gets killed. You're in the brig. You... The honorable choice, Team November. I'm afraid we'll pay for this later. Uh-huh. Nice place they got here. There should always be room for a few more people at the dinner table. I'm glad you let the refugees stay. No, not at all. There are so many wonderful people here who there are a lot of people saying good things about the Rangers. But especially about November. Whatever you're doing, Keep doing it. Only the best ingredients for my rangers. <laughs> it's hard to bring Colorado together with the stomach full of bitter rations. <laughs> Wait a second, didn't they say Mama Cotter? Maybe we have to talk to her. Scram. Got nothing to say to you. Talk to our mom. Scram. Okay, I've I am completely lost to what I'm supposed to do here. Um yeah, so I'll call it here and I'll do some looking up in between recordings. So other than that. I hope you guys liked. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.